how game makers and artists are pushing Roblox to its limits. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Roblox Fun Lane's channel. The place to satisfy your everyday Roblox needs. Today's video is going to be a little different, as we are going to be talking about Roblox developers and how they are putting their own spin on the virtual realm. So sit back, relax, and watch the video right until the end. Before we start with today's video though, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also don't forget to turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. Make sure you never miss another video. With that said, let's begin. Like so many Roblox players, digital artist Everest Pipkin has their own abandoned birthday world right here on Roblox. Last year when the pandemic made in-person gatherings impossible, Pipkin downloaded Roblox Studio, the platform game creation software, to construct a digital space to host their own party. It's still publicly accessible, a giant mountainous landscape packed full of hangout spots and befitting the celebratory occasion, a balloon dispenser. Friends rolled through virtually over the course of six hours, an event Pipkin describes as goofy, strange, and above all, lovely. In fact, Pipkin was so taken with the platform that they decided to use it to build a new project entirely within it. The so-called Dream Diary is a little different from the birthday zone. It allows players a peek into the most intimate recesses of the creator's nocturnal mind. Log on to any of the worlds in Dream Diary, and you might first notice the ways it differs from the others in Roblox. The harsh, bright lines have come to define the platform's body, aesthetic, make way for the softer gradations of light, colors, too, are muted in tone. This gentler visual approach extends to the audio in Herons, one of the diaries accessible from the hub. You'll hear the quiet chirping of the birds amid bright down song. Be warned though, the floor eventually disappears sending the player into the infinite freefall. The stuff of classic nightmares. Pipkin's work includes everything from DIY board games and delicate interactive art to anti-capitalist software license. It's part of the crop of game makers and digital artists whose heads have turned towards Roblox through the pandemic. Pipkin started exploring the platform alongside game maker and creator V. Buckham, which is precisely what Ricky Haggett, maker of the recent heartfelt puzzler I Am Dead, did with the international group of pals, including Australian game designer Marigold Bartlett. Digital artist Max Victor has started his own recent experiments, and then there's the Roblox works by Terry Cavanaugh, whose past commercial games include the critically lauded Super Hexagon and Dicey Dungeons. His Roblox game, Climb the Giant Man Obby, is a fiendishly difficult platform brimming with a signature sense of humor and charm. One of the most notable things about Roblox is how instantaneous it is. Rather than booting it up like you would a regular video game, its worlds are accessed from a web page from your internet browser. You search a term, or more likely, scroll through what popular at any given moment. Pick a world depending on its thumbnail, and whoosh, you're in. It feels closer to navigate a social media app, which of course is also what kind of Roblox is. Every creator and player has profile and friends list. Because avatars and controls remain the same across nearly every game, newly leveled experiences following the epic V Apple trial, there's nothing new to learn besides rules. You're just in this new space fending for yourself, says Pipkin, and the immediacy of these micro games is a delight. Immediacy extends to Roblox Studio itself, which is like a refined version of the 3D games engine Unreal and Unity. However, there are two big differences, according to Pipkin. The first is the tool's multiplayer component, which means numerous people can jump into the same project remotely. One person can be terraforming the landscape, sculpting vast mountains and deep river beds, while another imports 3D objects. A third could actually be scripting events. It is, says Pumpkin, remarkable, possibly more fun than actually playing Roblox games. The second is the toolbox, an online respiratory of 3D objects reminiscent of asset stores that exist for other game engines. However, the models, meshes, and skyboxes available to download are often half-finished or long out of date and likely given strange, random names by under 16s who primarily create and upload for them. For Pipkin, this chaotic nature is all part of the charm. Having been updated incrementally over the years, Roblox Studio has become a robust piece of software in its own right. Stacked with enough features for Pipkin to render these whimsical nighttime visions, there's explicitly poetic, a tonal far cry from Kavanaugh's climb for the giant man Obby, which leans into the silliness found on much of the platform. Pipkin's It's Time is about conversing with a hand-drawn mythological creature in a garden overgrown with pink cherry blossoms. It turns out that you have this creature or in a relationship, and that your partner doesn't have much longer to live. The game involves spending a final few minutes together. Pipkin explains that achieving the pencil aesthetic wasn't all that difficult. Illustrations can be imported straightforwardly enough, but creating a dialogue tree to fit the aesthetic was more challenging. The dialogue UI Roblox comes with is locked, so the artists had to artcore their own. Pipkin describes this as one of Roblox Studio's weird edges. What's lovely about its time, as well as the rest of the Dream Diary, is how it makes no demands for you. Unlike the platform more generally, which is sustained by microtransactions. It's certainly not unique in this respect. One can look to many other uncommercialized worlds, such as the similarly beautiful Toyoka Inari Shrine, 
Maybe it's a scope, crap, it's Pipkin's own ideological convictions, but the sensibility feels central to Dream Diary. You explore Dream Diary's connected haiku-like worlds for a few minutes, an industrial labyrinth and humid forest, a grand spear cooled palace before moving on with your day. Breezy Bay. The upcoming Breezy Bay sits at what can be considered the opposite end of the creative spectrum. Its developer Tailwind, one of the growing number of professional Roblox studios, describes the game as Animal Crossing meets RuneScape for the TikTok generation. Which it sounds exactly like what a meta tag written by someone in the pursuit of the platform's next big hit. In reality, this means it's a social sandbox RPG centered on gathering resources and decorating an island. So far, so Animal Crossing. With a plethora of in-app purchases, however, the UK-based Tailwind, backed by £800,000 in venture capital money, has a few tricks up its sleeve, which co-founder Mike Allender says could help Breezy Bay stand out in not just the Roblox, but the wider world of video games when it's released this summer. Each island has an elemental deity, earth, water, fire, etc., and depends on your behavior. You'll either please or anger them. As this happens, the island transforms topographically. Some will end up as the mortar-like Acheopolygus is filled with lava and smithenaries. Others will become a lush water-filled space. There's a planned social element too. If players on a server work together and decide to venetrate one deity, it could trigger server-wide bonuses. Groups loyal to water gods could enjoy the company of a giant oceanic monster. Of course, Roblox isn't just being pushed to its limits by newcomers to the platform. It also has a thriving scene of cutting edge games. We can only expect Roblox to get better in the future and surely there might be some issues with security and Roblox being sued now and again, but the future of the game seems bright for Roblox developers, at least with so many new developments having joined since 2020 alone, and it seems Roblox will encourage more developers to create better games, which is beneficial to players as well. With that, we wrap up our video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.